Hello friend, welcome back to my shop. Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. You are looking on 2002 Golf TDI, right? The turbo diesel with the 1.9 liter A LH engine. And what's going on here? It came for the engine and filter change, engine oil and filter change, but the main concern here is drip from this oil drain plug. The owner says this is stripped. He tried in past when we purchased the vehicle, he tried to tighten it. He says it's a strip and today he wants me to do the engine oil change but also take care of this issue. So let's go together see what will happen here. And some of you who are familiar with this problem even know that that might be even problem to remove that bolt, right? It might be not willing to come out. So I will take that 17 millimeter socket, right, which we use to lose it. But let's see how tight it is. So I can totally, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's bad, look at it, I'm tightening it. So this is stripped big time. I'm surprised it was not leaking even more. So now I'm trying to get it out, will it go out? And I guess I'm lucky right now in this stage because the bolt is coming out. This is great. There are cases when it even cannot come out, right? So I'm lucky. I'm repositioning this catching pan. But so far, good. It is coming out. Very happy about it. But it's definitely loose. It's wiggling there, doing all kinds of stuff. But here we go. This should be safe. Let's look in the detail how it's coming out. That's good. I like that. And I will prepare on the table the whole show. Now before looking at that bolt, I changed the camcorder position. I changed the location and settings here. And I'm trying to show you what I see with the naked eye. No wonder I was able to move that totally just by my hand oh yeah this is probably again as close as i will get to it see that the frets are basically completely ripped off now i research it before my friend brought this uh, golf here right for this problem and the materials i read says there is a steel insert in that aluminum pan to prevent this well I don't think so I clearly see aluminum there's not a steel ring right to prevent this from happening that's a, just a clean aluminum stripped so let's go look at the bolt and this is the way it came out I didn't touch it I didn't want to disturb those details which I'm trying to show you do you see that aluminum ripped out right on top of it do you see it i hope so i'm trying my best with this camcorder but this is a actually great detail look at this look at this this is all ripped right ripped out of that oil pan and here you can see another detail of that bolt this time i unscrew basically those shavings right that part which was removed stripped out of that engine oil pan so yeah let's continue with this what to do what to do so first you have to realize what is the threat on this bolt and if you know that this is m14 it's a metric right m14 and the thread is 1.5, right? So it's a M14 times 1.5. You will immediately realize that, for example, the spark plug repair kit here, right, from the helicoil, 
cannot be used because these inserts which I will put there they are M14 times 1.25 right so this is not compatible with the bolt and if I take one of those inserts which are part of this repair kit and I'm trying to put them on it the fret it's completely different it will not go further so this cannot be used and there has to be some alternative measure so visually it looked like a horror right all damaged but I will go ahead first step using this M14 times 1.5 tap and I will check the condition of the thread in that pan I put a bunch of grease on that tool to catch as many as possible shavings for me right and let's see how it will go inside I don't have a correct holder this is too big than the sets but I will make it happen right no problem so let's go and carefully run through that M14 so far it's not giving much resistance right which is expected and I have a hope for this because I can cut further in that pan right hopefully I can there is a remaining in the back which wasn't used right look all the shavings so I will clean this off put a new grease and continue and it's as you can see that dripping oil it's a problem for me right ideally it will be not happening but it is what can I do I have to deal with it toughen up deal with it right so look this is getting better and better I will grab it again right here and continue cutting carefully there is still almost no resistance as you can probably see right I'm not this is the second time I was going deeper in there will be again a bunch of shavings right yes there is I cleaned off the grease and the shavings right it's all gone let's see the bolt how it will go in it has a huge play Do you see it here you can see brand new M14 times 1.5 which I bought in the store and it's way longer this is actually way too long unnecessary they didn't have a shorter but here is the comparison how this fits there right so this when you put it all the way in it's suddenly wiggling a little bit less yeah but let me show you something else here I want to show you a little trick I want to use so the bolt which came out and it I don't think this is original and belongs there it's approximately 13.8 millimeters right the M14 from the store is 13.8 millimeters so they are a little bit less than 14 right the tap itself let's try to measure the tap right goes 14 17 and now there is a similar bolt in the store right it's just 9 16 it's a standard and has basically the same thread one and a half and look at that puppy it's way bigger and there's little actually if I grab it correctly it's somewhere the highest number it's somewhere like 14 12 14 14 right so it's a good difference and that actually could help us to solve this problem so here we are back underneath the car and let me try to clean that thread so you can see the improvement right it's way that recut, refreading or whatever actually created some nice thread there. It's not like new, I'm not trying to say that, but 
it's way better than when we came here. And let me show you how nicely this 916, right? This is the one. How nicely it goes in and how it's not wiggling, right? The other ones have a wiggle. Look at it. I can keep going. I look at this. Look how tight it is there. It's a completely different story. So I'm telling you this. I have a hope that I can use this and we will be able to torque it to 30 Newton meters as required, right? And the drip will stop. I search around my shop in my supplies and I actually found nice soft crusher washer which will fit this 916 right nicely so this is fantastic I'm almost ready to start putting it back and I'm almost ready because I will implement this Toyota seal packing which is basically the gasket maker for oil pans and the areas which are exposed to the engine oil and high temperatures so I will use it partially on this thread to stop any possible leaks in the future yet the bolt will be normally removable right again when the next engine oil change will be needed so here we go only on the area which is not coming inside of the pan and also the head changed right the socket won't be 17 anymore this bolt head is actually 21 in the metric world and i tried my best to prepare myself for installing that drain bolt right so i don't want to have that engine oil coming out but it keeps actually coming unfortunately this is really like over hour later and it's messing up everything but you know it is what it is I will probably have to tilt the vehicle towards to the front that it will stop but I will go ahead with this so I have my snap on torque wrench here let's put it to the 30 newton meters right 30 because that's the torque Oh, right there. It's right there. That's the torque required. I have my 21 socket. I have that crusher washer on this 916. Alright. Let's go for it. I have that Toyota seal packing there. Here is the 21 millimeter. And let's go. This goes very lightly. My fingers didn't turn it, but I'm using no effort whatsoever on this. Hopefully you can kind of see it. All right? I still have a way to go. But it's not wiggling like these original 14 millimeter bolts, right? So let's see. Let's see if this will be a success or absolute waste of the time. I'm trying to show it to you live that I didn't skip anything, you know. This is the real thing. Not, not making it up. The bolt is long, but they didn't have a shorter. So I bought what they had. It's almost there. It will be the mess from that FIPG, right? But we are coming there right now. So that was a 15 newton meters, 18, 19, 25, 27, 28, 30. Let me redo it again. That's a 31.8. I have it torqued, right? A little bit over. It's supposed to be 30. 
So I will go ahead actually and continue with this engine oil change. First of all, of course, I will clean around here, right? So we can later observe if it's leaking. The fact that it's not spinning, right? That it's grabbing doesn't mean it will be not leaking, right? But I think we are done. I think this is success. That's a perfect. The That's it. Done. So the repair is finished, right? Let's go and look. See if have any leaks or any problems. And as you can see. There is a happy ending. In this case, the engine is running already for five minutes and there is absolutely no leak around that bolt. And there's obviously many ways how to skin the cat, right? So please share your own experiences in the comments underneath the video. Thank you for watching this one and make sure you are subscribed. I have way more coming your way soon. See you later, my friend.